Hafidin, good afternoon. It's a tremendous privilege to be back here in the Guam legislature, but this time on this side of the building. And we're here for the purposes of recognizing the Knights of Columbus. It's my privilege to introduce uh, the following dignitaries before we turn it over to the uh, secondary sponsor of the resolution as prepared by the worthy district deputy. Thank you so much for that, uh, Sir Knight Tony Rabone. As you can see to my right, you have the Archbishop of the Archdiocese of Agania, Michael Byrne. We have... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it speaks a lot. Normally we don't clap when we're introducing people. That's awesome, Archbishop. <laughs> we have the worthy state deputy for the Knights of Columbus, Guam, if you would join me as well. <laughs> On my left side, of course, you have the elected representatives to the Guam legislature, beginning with the Honorable Therese Terlahi, Speaker of the Guam legislature. You have the co-sponsor, uh, who's co-sponsor to Vice Speaker Tina Rose Munoz Barnes and to my immediate left, who will be presenting on her behalf and starting uh, the senators off on their comments, the Honorable Vicente Ada, Tony Ada, who's a, who's a member of the Knights of the Sepulchre, right? Yeah, can we give him a round of applause? And Senator Chris Duenas, uh, who I'm, whose application I'm looking forward to receiving shortly, <laughs> But it's worth noting that he comes from good stock because his father was a knight of Col member. He was a knight with the Knights of Columbus with the Mangilao Council. Uh, his father had since passed. So Tun, uh, Tun Rick Duenas. So could we honor Tun Rick Duenas and Senator Tur Senator Duenas? And without further ado, I'm going to turn it over now to the uh, secondary sponsor of the resolution, Senator Tony Ada, if you will. Uh, thank you, everyone. Good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and to the people of Guam as we come here to celebrate the 139th annual celebration for the Knights of Columbus. Um, you know, I'm honored and privileged to be here before you to present this resolution as the, the uh, author of the resolution, uh, Vice Speaker Tina Rose Munoz Barnes, is. Uh, unable to uh, attend, but she does send her her best wishes and always know that our prayers, uh, her prayers are with us at this moment in time. I'd like to introduce my colleagues, Speaker uh, Therese Terlahi and Senator Chris Duenas for joining us here today for this resolution presentation. You know, it's amazing when you see and you talk about the Knights of Columbus, that I think the Knights of Columbus was first established here on Guam in 1965, March 23rd, 1965. And the very first council was the Pali Sambatoris, 5666, way back then. So it just goes to show how it evolved over the years, the many years of uh, brotherhood, fraternity, charity, love, unity, you know, how you guys have flourished throughout the island. We have over a dozen councils now on the island and you're, you're, you're just spread out. And you do the good things to our island and for our people, God's work. And how much more can we celebrate? I, the resolution is just a token of our appreciation, the people of Guam's appreciation, but the work that you guys do will always be everlasting. No words could ever there's, there's not enough words to say I thank you or God bless you. There's n never enough because it just continues on a daily basis. Uh, you guys do so much for the community from uh, helping those that uh, were less fortunate to, to bury their unborn to the unclaimed. And you guys have always been there. I've seen you guys there and I appreciate you. So with that, We'll just go ahead and do the resolution presentation. I'll have my colleagues uh, say a few words and then we'll give it to the Archbishop and to the uh, uh, Sir Knight Mike Martinez. So resolution 142-36 LS is relative to commending the Knights of Columbus on the 139th year anniversary celebration and congratulating Supreme Knight Patrick E. Kelly on the occasion of his elevation to Supreme Knight of the Knights of Columbus, the newly elected Guam State Deputy Michael Jean Martinez 
and all the councils and fourth degree assembly officers and commending the 2021-2022 Guam Knights of Columbus State Council, which is comprised of councils and assemblies island-wide for the exemplary service and contributions they have made globally, and most especially to the island and the people of Guam. Be it resolved by Yemena 36, Naleos Laturanguahan, whereas the Knights of Columbus was founded by blessed, venerable servant, Reverend Father Michael J. McGivney, on February 6, 1882, charity is at the heart, and it has always been, of the work and faith for the Knights of Columbus. And charity means supporting a virtually boundless variety of projects. And whereas some projects spearheaded by the Knights of Columbus include to leave no neighbor behind fund, which assists our communities affected by COVID-19 pandemic, disaster relief, when disaster strikes, Knights of Columbus volunteers are ready with supplies and aid in impact in impacted communities around the world. The Cultural Life Fund. Over one million moms have seen their unborn children thanks to the Knights of Columbus ultrasound program. And since 2009, the order has funded more than 1,000 ultrasound machines through donations from councils and the Cultural Life Fund. Vocation Fund Scholarships for seminarians that has helped many young men over the years pursue their call to the priesthood and the annual appeal, uh, annual appeal, the Knights of Columbus Charities Appeal, allows the Knights to meet our most pressing needs quickly. And whereas, Blessed Venerable Servant, Reverend Father McGivney's spiritual genius was in creating an organization that makes friends into brothers. And Knights have leveraged their fraternal strength in public witness throughout the years, lending their voice to uphold the dignity and rights of the most vulnerable and defending those facing discrimination in the U.S. and around the world. Whereas faith the Knights' commitment to charitable service is just one of many ways the Knights express their Catholic faith, building bridges back to what matters for their order, fellow Catholics and communities they serve. And whereas with over two million members around the world, the Knights of Columbus have been investing their time, effort, and resources into the values of charity unity, fraternity, and patriotism since 1882. And whereas the Knights of Columbus is the Fraternal Benefit Society, which means the Knights of Columbus can provide financial security to members and their families while turning premiums into charitable impact. And whereas the Knights of Columbus principles of charity, unity, fraternity, and patriotism serve as the basis of the order's core values, which are integrity, professionalism, excellence, and respect. And whereas Guam has very, a very active state council to include 98,092, Santa Teresita Council, excuse me, that's 98092, <laughs> thought that was a membership, as, as well as 13373 Mangilao, St. Louis, and St. Zio Martin Council. 17310 Mangilao, Santa Barbara Council. 10752 Dedido, St. Jude Tadeus, 11233 Council, Sinahanya. San Bautista Council, 15314 Orda. San Francisco de Assisi Council, 14361, Zotnia. St. Anthony and St. Victor Council, 11395, Timuning. St. Michael the Archangel Council, 5652, Telefofu. Our Lady of Mount Carmel Council, Agate, 11629. Fourth Degree Assemblies, 1555. Santa Maria and Camelin, Agate. Archbishop Felix Berto C. Flores, 2386, Dedido. 
and Padre Jose Bernardo E. Torres Palomo, 2419 Manila. And I will turn it over to the speaker now to present the resolved clauses. Now, therefore, be it resolved. That he mean in Trente Sais, Nali Hesla Turin Guahan, does hereby, on behalf of the people of Guam, recognize the Knights of Columbus on its 139th year anniversary celebration and congratulate Supreme Knight Patrick E. Kelly on the occasion of his elevation to Supreme Knight of the Knights of Columbus, the newly elected Guam State Deputy Michael Jean Martinez, and all the councils and fourth degree assembly officers and commend the 21 2021-2022 Guam Knights of Columbus State Council, which is comprised of councils and assemblies island-wide, for the exemplary services and contributions they have made globally, and to the island and people of Guam. And be it further resolved that the Speaker certify and the Legislative Secretary attest to the adoption hereof, and that copies of the same be thereafter transmitted to Supreme Knight Patrick E. Kelly, His Eminence, his Eminence, Supreme Chaplain Archbishop William E. Laurie, Deputy Supreme Knight Paul G. Sullivan, Supreme Secretary Patrick T. Mason, Supreme Treasurer Ronald F. Schwartz, Supreme Advocate John A. Morella, Guam State Deputy S.K. Michael G. Martinez, His Eminence Archbishop Michael J. Burns, Metropolitan Archbishop of Agana, State Secretary of S.K. Colin B. Groves, State Treasurer S.K. David S. Okada, State Warden S.K. Larry L. Pillman, State Advocate S.K. Michael D. Flynn, Jr., S.K. Francisco A. Florick, District Master, District Deputy District 1, S.K. Francisco C. Florick, District Deputy District 2, S.K. Roki C. Cruz, District Deputy District 3, S.K. George M. Frankis, District Deputy District 4, S.K. Tony P. Rabon, S.K. Ronald E. Lux, General Agent, S.K. William M. Castro, State Public Relations Chairman, S.K. Bobby O. Pelkey, Immediate Past State Deputy, All Knights of Columbus Councils and Fourth Degree Assemblies on Guam and to the Honorable Lourdes A. Leon Guerrero y Magahagan Guahan. This resolution was duly adopt and regularly adopted by Emina Trente Cinco Nalihes Letu and Guahan on the 13th day of August, 2021. And it's signed by Theresa M. Terlahi, Speaker of the Guam Legislature, and Amanda Shelton, Legislative Secretary. This is resolution 142-36 LS, and it's introduced by Vice Speaker Tina Rose Munya Barnes, Speaker Teresa Terlahi, myself, V. Anthony Ada, and Senator Chris Duenas. And we'd like to congratulate you on this 139th anniversary. At this time, I'll have uh, Speaker Trelahi say a few words, and then followed by Senator Chris Duenas, and followed by Archbishop Michael Burns, and then Sir Knight uh, Martinez. Well, just very briefly, like to say congratulations, but also for all the work that you do through all the communities of Guam and helping us, all of us. Um, especially in times of need. Sidus Masi to all of you. And Sidus Masi. I join my colleagues in saying thank you for all the work that you've done over the years and continue to do. Other than my father, Ricardo Comacho Duenas, uh, a knight now serving in heaven, I wanted to mention, well, I see my cousin here, <laughs> uh, you know, that uh, it was also the Honorable Judge Cristobal Camacho Duenas, and I believe he had reached 
the peak of, of what it meant to be a knight in terms of the degree. Um, and so uh, it runs in our family. Uh, so perhaps my petition will be coming along soon. But uh, Mike Duenas, uh, you know, he also has followed through and he's my first cousin. And so I don't know where we line up, Dave. But <laughs> other than that, it's an honor really for all of you to be here today and to, to celebrate uh, this occasion. And uh, so I just want to ask you to continue, uh, you know, your service. And, and um, as, as somebody remarked when we were coming in, um, one of the members said, uh, you know, where's the main man? And I enjoyed the archbishop saying, uh, he's not here, he's up there. So, <laughs> thank you everyone for being here. And I'd, I'd like to invite the archbishop to just say a few words and give us a blessing, please. I'm a first degree knight uh, from the Monaghan Council in Farmington Hills, Michigan. I had the great honor to have my father to bring me into that first degree. He's long past now. But I admire the Knights and I'm grateful for your witness. You know, we live in a day and an age where in a lot of cases men are disregarded. That the women are the ones who take care of the religious stuff. But in the nights we see the witness of men that live in the ways of Jesus Christ. That's a tremendous witness. When you look at the statistics, when people you know, when, who, who are our children looking toward? Usually it's just in the, in the church or in the, in the family. It's, it's mom that takes care of the religious stuff. But it's men who takes the religious stuff into the world. I know you guys have been, got, gotten a new director of evangelization, um, Dr. Jonathan Reyes. I've known him since our days together in college at the University of Michigan. I think he's going to really inject an evangelical spirit in a, in a more profound way here in Guam and throughout, really throughout the world, because that's what, that's, what um, that's what he's about. And so I encourage you, brothers, to don't be afraid to inject the religious stuff into your children. You probably get a lot of eye rolls, but still, just the fact that you're here, that you show up in the church. I'm a little, you know, uh, you know going to the berets was a little bit of a shock to me because, uh, you know, now, you know, with you guys lose not having those hats. I have the funny hat. <laughs> Wherever I'm at. Yeah. So, but brothers, really uh, admire your witness. So thank you very much. Thank you, Your Eminence. Uh, again, on behalf of uh, our Supreme Knight, Patrick Kelly, I'd like to. Uh, Thank everybody for being here and uh, for the, our speaker and, and the senators here and, and everybody that has anything to do with this I mean, uh, resolution presentation today uh, for all the hard work that's been done. Yeah. And thank you, Tony Ravon, okay, Brother Tony. Uh, for, for most brothers and sisters who are not Knight, so SK is actually Sir Knight, just so, just so everybody knows. So that way he just kind of cuts all that stuff. But you know, but well, we appreciate you, Speaker, uh, mentioning all our brother knights that are recognized here today uh, and who, are, who can't be here for whatever reason, they have appointments or whatever. But this fraternal year, 2021, 2022, is gonna be very challenging this year. Uh, I'm scheduled to see the Archbishop this month. Uh, so, you know, you're welcome to join me. Just let me know so I can let the Secretary know. Uh, we're, we're gonna be standing up 
three suspended councils, one being 5666 and again here. So, uh, and of course, Jigu and, uh, and uh, Malolo. But uh, the years after that, we're going to be standing up other councils. So, you know, just bear with me and, uh, and support me in uh, moving forward. And we'll, we'll make things happen, especially nowadays with the, what's going on with the church. So, uh, all I ask is for your support and assistance and that continue to, to uh, move forward and uh, strive for uh, you know, perfection. Okay? Vive Jesus! Viva. Thank you again, everyone, for being here this afternoon. Uh, right after this, we'll go ahead and take photos. So please stick around, and um, we'll go ahead and go up to the top there. Thank you. Thank you again, everybody.